This is a variation on an old con, but we use modern technology to gain an unbeatable edge. There is a reason why gambling is regulated in this country. If a total stranger walks up to you and asks you to bet on anything, be aware you might be being set up. The hustlers have come to this pub to do a modern recreation of a con from the film The Sting. Alex and Paul are watching darts on a giant TV. Jess is serving behind the bar, so you know this isn't a night off. So, what's the scam? Paul asks some lads if they fancy betting on the next darts match. Are you guys interested in a little bit of action? Give it a go. But since our boys are hustlers, you know they are not going to play fair. Jess has inside information on the darts game, which means that for Alex and Paul, any bets they are going to make will be a sure thing. Paul explains that the match is England versus Scotland, and you have to bet on who will win each leg. The winning bet gets to choose first in the next leg, and whoever wins the majority of legs gets to take home all the money. Fair enough. That's true. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Right. Like perfect gentlemen, Paul and Alex let the marks go first. This brings an element of chance. The marks may guess correctly, but there are only so many times they can win. So, um, you guys choose. Who do you want to win first round? Scotland or England? I don't think Scotland's grabbing <laughs> here. Money is placed on the table up front, and during the game, matchsticks are used like casino chips and are worth one pound each. Jess turns up the volume and away they go. That's the job I want. 100? Oh, my money back. Oh! What's that? Alright, that's yours. That's yours. The marks win the leg, so they get first pick for the next bet. <laughs> I'm going for England. Go for England. Yeah. Alright. Where's the chicken? That's yours. That was yours. It's a cream in that. Alright. Great batch. Great batch. Great batch. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, is that? After five legs, the marks are unbeaten and nine pound up. Unbelievably, our real hustlers are on a losing streak. Yes, we win one. That's us. Finally, the hustlers have control of the game. It's payback time. I'm going to go for England. England. All right, we're going for England. Choke, choke, choke. Oh. Alex and Paul win again. And again. There seems to be no stopping them. Their lucky streak continues over the next five legs. Oh! Come on! What a comeback that is! We was up. <laughs> it's all over. Alex and Paul win the final leg. They beat the marks 9 5. <laughs> it's a whitewash. They have taken almost £100 off their victims. But how come they got so lucky? Let's go back and see how they did it. This scam relies on technology. Jess is playing live darts through a TV behind the bar and the satellite receiver for the big screen. The satellite receiver contains a hard drive, which continuously records the program, so live TV can be paused and resumed at any time. Just before the bar is open to the public, Jess pauses the big screen darts coverage long enough for her to be one match ahead on her small TV behind the bar. Jess restarts the TV just before the doors open. By the time the lads agree to bet, the match in reality is over and Jess knows all the results as she has been watching the TV behind the bar. All she has to do is tell the boys. The winner of each leg is shown by the placement of the tea towel. Alex gets the message. Left pump means England, right pump is Scotland. England. All right, we're going for England. Choke, choke, choke! Oh. Hey! So, luck had nothing to do with our hustlers' victory. But before we let the Marks have their money back, let's see what they make of their losing streak. It was silly, really, because darts is something we didn't really know enough about. But here now, you might as well just have a look. You have to know about darts. So, um, yeah, they knew what they were doing. They had some sort of insight that we just didn't have. We're in the middle of a gambling boom, and people are prepared to bet on anything. Remember, if there is money to be made, there is probably a hustler around trying to cash in.